Hi everyone, Happy Chinese New Year! This year is the year of the rabbit, and I want to present to you a special recipe: Mala rabbit with orange peel, 陈皮兔 I know the idea of eating rabbit probably put a lot of people off, but actually, there's a lot of rabbit dishes among the cuisines around the world. And let me tell you why rabbit meat has been a Sichuan staple and how delicious it is. Historically, Sichuan is the place known for raising rabbit because its location lacks large plains for livestock like cow or sheep. The hilly terrain made farmers easier to raise rabbit. At first, rabbits were raised for furs, and later there were too many rabbits, and people started to cook the rabbits. This dish, Chen Pi Tu, is a classic Sichuan rabbit dish that mainly served as an appetizer. For the ingredients, of course, we have a whole rabbit, the usual mala elements, the aromatics, and the very interesting dried orange peel. There are actually tangerine peels, and you can buy these in Asian grocery stores. Or you can just save your old tangerine, orange, grapefruit, or other citrus peel and let them dry out. You may also use fresh peels too, although it gives a slight different flavor. Also, we have some Sichuan pantry staples here for the dish. Let's break down the rabbit first. Rabbit meat is similar to chicken, but leaner, more delicate, and tender. It has a little bit of that grassy flavor many herbivore animals share. So the orange peels I mentioned are known to take out that flavor and elevate the savoriness. As you can see, if you know how to break down a chicken, it shouldn't be very difficult. There are two loins on the back, four legs in the chest. So let's take down the front and back legs down first. Carefully twist the leg until they pop out of the socket, and you can cut straight through the joint. For the loin fillets. Just like how you will fillet a fish, cut along the spine, and the loin will be separated from the bone. The flappy part that is connected to the loin is the belly, which I think is the most delicious part of the rabbit. Once you break down the parts, carefully cut along the bone to take the meat out and cut them into small dices, and you have a bowl of boneless rabbit meat. You can, of course, it's just the meat. But if you're like me or people in Sichuan like to gnaw on the bones, take those bones out and chop them into the same size as the meat. You may discard the carcass or use for stock. Next step is to marinate the rabbit. The marination step is mainly to give the meat a base seasoning and get rid of the grassy taste. To do that, we need half a lemon, some green onion, and ginger. Cut the lemon into wedges and toss in the scallion and the ginger, along with some Shaoxing wine, soy sauce, a dash of five spice powder, and sugar. Mix with your hands. Squeeze the juice of the ginger and scallion out to mix with the meat. Marinate for at least 15 minutes and up to eight hours. In the meantime, we can prepare the aromatics for braising. Cut the dried chilies and discard the seeds. For the citrus peels, take half out, and if you have a spice grinder, you can grind them into powder. I don't have one, so I just break them up as much as possible using a mortar and pestle. And prepare some extra garlic, ginger, and scallion. Okay, so the cooking technique for this dish is actually called fry reduce, 炸烧 Basically, it's to deep fry the protein first so that it's a little bit dry out, and then braise to absorb the braising liquid so that the meat is extra flavorful. We need to fry the rabbit first. If you don't want to do the frying at home, you may use an air fryer or an oven. 
just remember to fry a little bit drier than you'd normally do. So preheat the oil to 180 degrees Celsius or 365 Fahrenheit. Pick out all the meat pieces and fry on medium heat. And it takes some time to fry the moisture out of the meat. When the pieces are big golden brown like this, take them out and set aside. The reduce step is basically braising and reduce the liquid. We first fry the chilies and big spoon of dough banjang. Once they are very fragrant, add in the aromatics and the rabbit pieces. Then add in the citron peppercorn, soy sauce and water. Just about the same level as the meat. Add in the whole orange peels, star anise, bay leaves, and a dash of sugar. Very important point to note is that because all the citrus peel become bitter when heated for a long time, it's important to take the peels out when they are soft so that only subtle flavor left in the liquid. The braising doesn't take very long, about 15 minutes on medium-low heat. Basically, you can leave the pot at this point and stir occasionally. Once the liquid is reduced and thickened, the last step is to mix in the citrus peel powder to give the flavor an extra boost. If you're using fresh citrus, just add some zest. And we can plate. Now you may enjoy this right now when it's hot, but actually we have one more step to enjoy it the authentic way. Put it into a container and let it sit overnight in the fridge. The meat will continue to absorb the flavor and become extra tasty. Here is the final product. As you can see, the meat is very well coated with spicy and numb flavors, and the zesty flavor is there, but very subtle. It's the best dish to drink a little bit with, and it's pretty red so that it symbolizes the joy of New Year. Well, I hope you like this somewhat complex but delicious recipe. Wish you extra happy in the New Year. See you next time.